Some people cannot receive from you because it's you. When someone has jealousy and envy in their heart towards you, anything you say, be it right or wrong, they will not be able to receive it. Whether you're telling them the truth about something, they will not be able to receive it. When someone has animosity and tension towards you, when somebody looks at you as if everything that you have you do not deserve, they will think everything you say is negative. They will think everything you say is wrong. They will think that your very words that you speak to them is meant to be malicious and somehow trying to come against them. You see, when people are insecure about themselves, they take everything you say personally. They take everything that you say to them as some kind of hit against their pride or their ego. Dealing with insecure people, people who have hidden jealousy, people who are envious of you can be very exhausting and very draining. And when you are a person who is naturally a person who wants to help and encourage other people, when someone looks at you as if you think you're better than them, you think you know everything, you think this, it's because of their own insecurity. And the reason why people who are often more secure in who they are, people who have more hope, who have a little bit more ambition, do well with people who do not know them opposed to people in their immediate circle, it's because they are too familiar with you. I always say I thank God for the kindness of strangers because if it wasn't for people that I don't know, I wouldn't be as far along as I am right now. See, people who are in your immediate circle, oftentimes they cannot receive you because they're too comfortable. They're so comfortable that they don't feel like they need to give you the full respect that you deserve, whether it be in just word or in deeds. When a person, let's say yourself, you're starting a business, you're doing different things, and you want somebody to be there to encourage you and support you, people who are too familiar with you will look at what you're doing as if it's something minor, as if it's a little hobby, as if it's something that doesn't really make a difference in the world. But when you're dealing with someone who really doesn't know you and they see the impact that you're making, they are more apt to support you. Have you ever wondered why if you ever sell a product, Family and friends are always asking you for a discount. They want to know, okay, can you give me a hookup? Can you do this for me? Can you do that for me? And my question is, when you walk into Target, when you walk into Walmart, when you walk into different establishments, do you go in asking them for a discount? Do you go in asking them for a hookup? But because it's you, because you're family, and even if you're not family, let's just take it a step farther. Let's say you're a woman and you're a woman of color because in some people's eyes, black equals discount. And I'm telling you right now, it does not. You see people who are a little bit envious and people who kind of don't really value you in that way, they feel like they can always get something for nothing from you. They act like there's nothing required of them in order for you to really be that kind of person you need to be to them and for, be, for them to be who they need to be to you. They're always trying to give you the bare minimum. That is the point that I'm making. And when you are a person who understands that you are worthy of more than just the bare minimum, people who are envious and jealous and think that you don't deserve what you have anyway, they will be less apt to be in your corner and they will begin to look at you as if you are the enemy for having a standard. So what can you do when you find yourself in the position of dealing with a person who doesn't really value yourself, who doesn't really understand that just because it's you, that doesn't mean that you're not worthy of all of the respect and support that you deserve. My advice is that you do not lean on your immediate circle so much. Now, many people have very supportive friends and family, but the truth is many people do not. Many people have friends and family that want them to do well, but just not as well as them. They wanna see them eat, but just not as well as them. They wanna see them have a house, just not as nice as them. They wanna see their children do well, just not as well as their children. As weird as that may sound, there are people out there that think that way. And when you have the potential on your life to do so well, when they see that you're wise, that you're smart, that you're kind, that you have favor with other people, 
they are less apt to help you because they feel like you don't deserve any of that anyway. And that sucks. But as a woman, as a confident woman, you must understand that no matter what somebody else might think about you, no matter what somebody else might think that you don't deserve, if God has favor on your life and you're doing what you know to do, then you will get everything that you deserve. You will have supportive people in your circle who might not be blood relation, but they will be there to support you. You will have people that are not going to try to ask you to downgrade your value because they feel like you're not worth it. When somebody asks you to downgrade your value, you're selling something, you're offering something and they say, hey, I want a discount. You can't hook me up. It's because they don't see the value in what you've done. To me, as a business owner and as a content creator, I think that is one of the most insulting things that someone can do. They don't understand the time and energy and attention that you put into a thing. And because of that, when they see the finished product, they're like, oh, can you give me a discount? Not understanding that you might have paid money for that. You took your time creating it. You created it with care. That you're doing it from a place of love and genuine caring for the people that you're serving. But when people have that entitlement spirit, and there are a lot of people who have that entitlement spirit, they think because you have, they're supposed to automatically have. And that often happens with family members. Now, I'm not saying that you don't help your family. I'm not saying that you don't be there to encourage and support. But it took me a while to realize, especially being a person that's a person of faith. And sometimes when you are a faithful person, you take things out of context and start thinking that you can allow people to run over you or take advantage of you and somehow that's virtuous no know your worth there is a time for charity and there's a time to get paid there's a time to just offer words of encouragement and there are times when people need to be encouraging and supporting you you cannot always pour from an empty well you should never do that and you should never allow people to make you believe that you're not deserving of everything that you have People who are envious and jealous, they want you to think that there's some way you got lucky or some way, you know, you must have did something shady or some other kind of theory they come up with to try to make you feel like you're not deserving of what you have. People who are envious and jealous, they will often feel like, okay, who are you to tell me anything? And it's just because it's you. And when people look at you in that way, it's because they think of themselves in such a low way that they look at you as if you are better than them. That's really what they're thinking. They're thinking that you are better than them, that they will never be able to get to the point where you are because their mindset is not where it needs to be. Many people have this everything has to be hard mindset, everything has to be struggle, everything has to be strife. And when people think like that, and they come across somebody who is relatively positive and hopeful and doing the things that they set out to do, they will look at you as if, oh, I don't want to hear that from you. They will go to somebody else and get the same advice, same encouragement, same instruction, but because you said it, they could not receive it. That is just something you're going to have to become accustomed to as you grow in your confidence as a woman. As you become a more elevated mindset woman, as you grow in your faith, as you grow in your confidence, you will have to get accustomed to people being threatened by you just because it's you, because of the light that you carry, because of the way you talk, the way you speak. You, you speak with so much certainty and assertiveness in your voice. People who are not ready to receive from you they need you to dumb it down a little bit so they can tolerate it. They need you to be a little bit timid, a little bit shy. They need you to be a little bit like unsure of yourself for them to be sure of themselves. And I say people like that, you never dumb yourself down with. So just know that when you begin to come up a little bit, when you begin to get more confident and feel encouraged and you're doing things, that will breed envy and jealousy from other people. And you might see this sometimes in the workplace too, where you might know more than the boss. And I'm going to have a whole video on dealing with the envious manager, dealing with a jealous manager, because there are a lot of uh, employees who are working for people 
in environments where they know more than the employer. But because of that, they treat you a little bit differently. They want to remind you to stay in your lane as the employee and that they're your boss. But I'm going to get into that in another video. Like and subscribe to the channel and share this content. Hit the notification bell so that you're aware when I post a brand new video. Only because it's you that they can't receive from you. But don't let that discourage you. Keep spreading light. Keep spreading encouragement. And don't let people make you shrink back out of fear of what they think of you. All right. Take care.